Hello and welcome to another bird flop tutorial. Today we'll be going over how to use the bird flop bot to optimize your server and make your server run faster. This tutorial will mainly be useful to those running a server with high player counts and experiencing lag or due to lots of plugins, potentially laggy plugins as well. To start, you'll want to check out your version of Minecraft. Mine is 1.20, but if you have an older version, it may work slightly differently for you. If you're running 1.20 or a newer version, you can run Spark Profiler Stop. You'll get a link to a Spark profile. If you're not running 1.20 or a newer version, or maybe you're running a different software, in this case I'm running Purper, but if you were running Paper, for example, it might be slightly different. In this case, you'll just want to type Timings Paste. We don't receive anything now, but we'll receive something if we were running one with timing. Since this server only has Spark and not timings, we'll be using the Spark report instead. Next, you want to copy this link. If you click on it, you'll see the Spark page, which can be a little difficult to analyze yourself. Fortunately, we have a bot for that in the bird flop Discord, so we can go ahead and we can just start typing slash profile and then the link to the profile. In this case, that's actually the address for the server so let's make sure that we copy this link instead and you can copy it from the url bar instead if that's easier as well so we just type in slash profile and then the url and now birdflop will analyze the profile think a little bit about what changes you should make in this case the server isn't actually lagging because there's currently no players on it and this is a pretty fast server but if the server was lagging, we can dismiss and force analysis, in which case this can show us potential optimizations that we can do to speed up the server. Each of these will have slightly different effects on your server. None of them will, very few of them I should say, will make it. So the server runs the same and they'll have some slightly different things. For example, merge radius XP will change the radius at which XP orbs merge. If you want to learn more about the effects that they have on the server, you can head to the linked guide and view the effects of each of these on your server by just scrolling through this and seeing what they all do and kind of how the Minecraft server works. Next, in order to make these changes, you can head to your server page, go to files, and the bot will tell you where these files are found. For example, if we were wanting to change the entity activation range dot wake up inactive dot flying monsters four, we can change it in spigot.yml. So I want to head over to spigot.yml and then we can find the entity activation range. In this case, it's right here. And then the dots show the different indentations here. So one dot, for example, would be one indentation. In this case, we had dot wake up inactive. And the next line we had was flying monsters four. So now that means we'll be in this indentation and we can find flying monsters four. Normally it'll wake up inactive flying monsters for 100, but we can change this to 60. And there's lots of other changes that you can do as well. We can also look at using a timings profile instead. In this case, we'll find a timings profile up in this channel. Um, and timings is used less often now because it's a slightly older system that has less information. But we can go ahead and use this person's timings report. I hope they don't mind. Now we just type slash timings. And it's going to be the bird flop bot again that's analyzing it. And we can just analyze it like this. Now the bird flop bot will think again. Again, this server is not lagging, so there's not really any reason to implement these changes. If it was lagging, we can look at the analysis and see that the potential optimizations we can make are increasing the ticks per monster spawn and changing our version to a later version. Older versions are more likely to have bugs and can be more laggy as well, depending on the version. After making these changes, you can just go ahead and make sure to save your content first, and then you can go to your console and restart the server. Within a few seconds or longer, depending on the number of plugins you have and the system that you're on, the server should boot up and you can join again and view the performance improvements. So I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or ask in the BirdFlop Discord. I'll also link the BirdFlop Discord in case you want to put your questions in there. And thank you all for watching. If this video helped you, feel free to leave a like or suggest any other ideas for future videos or check out the videos on our channel.